If you want your website to look fire like this, man, watch the video all the way through because I'm going to explain how I did it. YouTube, what is good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to set up your website for your clothing brand using Shopify. A lot of y'all been asking for this video, man, so you know I couldn't disappoint, man. I'm here. I got y'all. We're not even finna waste no time, man. Let's get straight into it. It's showtime! The first step, if you haven't done it already, is going to be making an account on Shopify. Lucky for y'all, I got a discount where you get the first three months of Shopify for only $1 per month. Bro, you can literally be making tens of thousands of dollars and only paying one dollar a month to use shopify man that's a great deal press the first link in the description to get this deal all right now that you got your account set up man open your shopify and head over here where it says online store we're gonna go to themes press add theme visit theme store i'm really gonna make it easy for y'all simple for y'all man just follow the instructions and you're gonna have a fire website man let's do it over here we're at the shopify theme store some of the themes do cost money like you see this one 340 dollars like, but a lot of them are free. So we're gonna be using a free one today and the website is still gonna turn out fire. Y'all stay with me. Press the search and you're gonna search up Dawn. A lot of y'all, if you're experienced with Shopify, you think that Dawn is like the basic Shopify theme, which it is. But if you know how to cook up, like I'm about to show y'all, then you can make Dawn look fire. And most importantly, you can use Dawn to convert into sales. That's the whole point of the business, right? To get people to buy. So we're gonna click on Dawn, press try theme. And it's going to be adding Don to your online store themes. It's loading. Give it a little second to process. As y'all can see, Don has been added into my theme library. We're going to go over here, press customize. Hey, this is a pro tip. Most people that go on your website are going to be using your phone. Shopify is going to have you automatically use the desktop format to edit the theme. Don't do this. Go over here and you're able to select which type of format you use. Press mobile. Boom. As you can see, it automatically adds a section for your products. These are the two products that I have available. If you don't know how to add products, let me go ahead and show you. Exit off of the online store section. Go over here where it says products. Press the button at the top right where it says add products. You can make the description whatever you want. This is the description that I'm using for my other products, so I just pasted it in. Go ahead and add the name of the product. Over here where it says media is where you're gonna upload the product photos. My advice to you is to use a professional mock-up and then make the background white. And I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. Okay, so first step is gonna be taking a picture of your product like this. We're gonna head over to remove.bg. This is what we're gonna use to remove the background of any photo that we would like. Press upload image, select whatever photo you want to use as you can see the background will automatically just they're going to take it off for you press download then head over to photopea photopea is a free alternative to photoshop if you have photoshop feel free to use it you're going to press open from computer and then pull up your picture i have my picture opened up right now i'm going to make a new layer which is the background I'm going to come over here paint pull paint bucket tool and then make the background white boom this is another option that you could do as you can see this is a professional mock-up that i made let me know if y'all want me to make a whole video on how to make cleaner mock-ups like this but the main thing is to have the background white you see how the background is white and it also has a little shadow that i added this isn't hard to do just press your image press layer layer style and then drop shadow and then you can mess around with it to your liking you know so i'm gonna rock out with this one because i just feel like it looks more clean okay we're gonna head back over into shopify and we're gonna add in the product photo that we now have as you can see i've added in my product photo you're gonna set the price put whatever weight it is for me usually my shirts are about 13.8 ounces this is an important part too we're gonna come over here and add variants if you have different colors and stuff it's important to put that in here right and for for this one, I'm just gonna put the different sizes. Now that you have your product photo, you have your products right, you're gonna press save and it's gonna automatically appear on your website. Okay, head back over into the Dawn theme and let's make our website look fire, bro. Let's, let's do it. Welcome to our store, that's kind of corny. I'm just gonna take that off. Go over here, press where it says header. We need to make our logo appear. We need to change it from saying divine visions to showing our logo. So go to settings, press logo, select image, and then add your logo in y'all. So I just added my logo. I made it a little smaller so it can be a little cleaner. Scroll down to this footer. Bro, this footer looks so ugly gonna change it a little bit go on the right side you see where it says show email sign up take it off personally i don't even collect emails i know that some people would suggest that you do i collect phone numbers bro people are on their phones way more than they're on their emails so if y'all want to add in something to collect phone numbers that's way smarter but anyways take off the enable follow on shop bro who is following you on shop bro real talk don't show the social media icons that's unnecessary keep the language because you never know who might be on your website take off the show payment icons it's unnecessary bro you want your website to be as slick and as clean as possible take off the show policy links and then boom it looks way simpler it's not as cluttered okay now i'm gonna put y'all on to some sauce man 
Y'all, so this is how my current finished website looks. As you can see, I have this little scrolling image thing and a lot of people love it. I'm gonna put y'all on game for the free on how I did it. Go over here where it says apps, press apps and sales channel settings and then press Shopify app store. We're gonna install the app called section store. It's free to install, boom. I already have it installed, so I'm just gonna press open. Once you have section store pulled up, look for the section called scrolling images. Hey, this is just an extra little sauce that you should add to make a website look fire. Section store charges $9 for each custom section. So we're gonna add scrolling images and it's $9. I already paid for it, but if you didn't buy it yet, it would say over here, purchase section. After your section is purchased, you can go over here where it says my sections. Go to scrolling images, press add to theme, and then press the theme that you want to add it to, which for me is Don. Now that we added it to the theme, we're going to come back and then we're going to refresh. Press add section, scroll down to where it says scrolling images. Yes, sir. And I want to put it at the top. I want it to be the first thing that people see. This is just what I do for my story. Like put y'all own twists on it, man. If I see everybody start copying my sauce, I'm going to see that people not original for real, but it's okay for real. I'm just giving away the sauce for free. So we're going to mess with the height the text size a little bit, boom. Where it says 29,000 plus people love our products. I'm pretty sure nobody watching this video has sold 29,000 units. If you did, I'm sorry, I wasn't familiar with your game. Personally, I have had over 200 sales, so I'm just gonna put like 200 plus satisfied customers, you know, something simple, boom. You can go over and change the text size and the line height of the bottom text as well. And I'm gonna get rid of this image banner. So over here, delete image banner, boom. Go over here to the left, press the image, and then on the right, press select image and you can add in whatever image you would like. I'm gonna go ahead and add all of my images and I'll get right back up with y'all. The reason that this is so effective is because social proof is big. If you don't know what social proof is, it's basically people seeing other people wearing your brand and they are messing with it because they see other people wearing it. So this is showing that not only is your brand not gonna scam them, but it's also showing that it's cool to rock your brand. I'm gonna make the bottom text line a little bit smaller. I'm gonna make the padding smaller. I just want it to be as little scrolling as possible for my customer. Line height, smaller. Okay, cool. As you can see, the home screen is looking very clean. Like, it's looking fire right now. We're gonna go ahead and press save, and we're gonna press the product page. The product page is clean, man. You want your website to be clean, bro. It doesn't take that much. Keep everything clean. Keep it white background. Y'all see that we made the white background on the product on purpose so that it can blend in and just have that clean fire look, man. People just want to be able to go on your website and just purchase quick. Y'all can play around with the colors and stuff, but I suggest that you keep it black and white. Keep it simple. The last part I'm gonna show y'all is password page. A lot of y'all keep y'all sites closed and you don't know how to set up a fire password page. So I'm gonna show y'all how to do that. So go to the top. Type in password and it's going to let you get to the password page. Also, if you want to lock your website, I'm showing a screen recording right now how to adjust whether it's password protected or not. Follow this screen recording, okay? As you can see, you can make it as to where people need a password to enter your site or you can just leave your site wide open for anybody to purchase. And what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this email banner sign up. We're gonna add in a section. You should have a SMS sign up button. We need to be collecting phone numbers so that people can be notified when our site opens. So go back over here to the apps thing, go back to the Shopify app store and either get Postscripts or SMS bump. Personally, I use SMS bump. Well, I guess now they call it Yotpo, Yotpo email and here it is. Yotpo email marketing and SMS. You're gonna open it. I already have it added, obviously. You need to install it if you haven't already. As you can see, I have 1,488 SMS, which is a lot. Like, I've been working hard on it. But if you're a big, big brand, you're going to have thousands, okay? All right, so we're going to press audience, subscriber collection tools over here. We want it to be embedded into the website. So we're going to go over here, scroll to the right, and press embedded form, set it up. Design your form and make it however you want it to look, okay? This is how my form looks because I sold out last drop, so I just basically want to funnel people to getting notified for the restock, okay? When you're done, press publish, press pages, and press copy to clipboard. Go back to your store, press add section, custom liquid, liquid code, and we're going to paste it, okay? Let's paste it. And then boom, it's gonna pop in. Personally, I'm gonna make the bottom padding way smaller. And I made the top padding also zero, boom. There it is right there. And then what we're also gonna do is add section, add the scrolling images thing again, because this is when your website is closed. So you need people, you want people to see what they're missing out on, man. I'm gonna put at the top, join the family. I'm gonna make it look the same as the other one. 
All right, so boom, I updated everything. As y'all can see, it says join the family and then it says get notified on the restock. So when your website is closed, you can funnel people into joining your SMS list. We're gonna press save. And y'all always wanna double check that everything is looking good, man. Over here, I have these pages that I selected. If you wanna customize what pages show, you just gotta get off, go back to the main dashboard, type in pages. And then you can press add page over here. You can edit the pages over here and then they're gonna let you basically press show page or not. And you can decide whether you wanna show them. These are the pages that I want to be shown. My home, my catalog, so people can press and see what I'm selling. Contact, so if people have questions. And my shipping policy, cause I'm gonna run a pre-order and I want people to know the terms and conditions of my shipping and stuff like that, okay? So yeah, the website looking clean. Let's do a fake checkout you know let's press it large add to cart okay everything looking good item added to your cart checkout boom we're good editor marv here i forgot to mention at the top right it might also say publish you're gonna press that to make that the main version of your website okay so you're gonna make that template that you're editing the main version that people would see if they went on your website hey man if you learned anything from this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button man i drop free game like this every single video thank you for watching all the way through if you have any questions comment it down below i love you jesus loves you and i'm out god bless y'all it's showtime